Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Notary Nuggets podcast, where we spill the beans, the coffee beans, that is, on all things notary. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into the world of notaries to talk about a tool of the trade that's as critical as it is clunky, the notary stamp and seal. Now, every notary's got a story about their first time fumbling with that stamp or embosser. Trust me, it's like a rite of passage in this biz. But here's the deal. Understanding notary stamp and seal requirements isn't just about avoiding a smudged document that looks like a toddler's art project. It's about professionalism, legality, and making sure you can seal the deal with confidence every single time. Navigating stamp and seal requirements might seem more complicated than choosing a Netflix show on a Saturday night, but it's all about knowing the laws of your land. Every state's got its unique rules. You've got some states where you might as well be signing with a quill and others where digital seals are the new black. For those new to the game, a notary stamp and seal is more than just a fancy accessory. It's your superhero emblem, folks. It's what gives your documents the power to leap tall legal hurdles in a single bound. And just like Spider-Man's suit, it's got to fit just right. Too little info, and it's a no-go. Too much, and you're entering the overshare territory. But it's not just that. Seals and stamps are evolving faster than tech on a SpaceX rocket. You've got your traditional stamps. Good ol' reliable. But then there's electronic seals making waves in the e-notarization ocean. It's the 21st century, and we've got to stay on top of these trends like we're surfing the big one at Mavericks. Okay, notaries, let's pause right here for a second, because I've got something that might just change the game for you. Hey, notaries, thank you for listening to the Notary Nuggets podcast. Are you tired of turning away hungry leads just because you couldn't respond in time? Well, quit operating a closed online business with AIBot, your new digital Mater D. This innovative AI assistant greets visitors to your website 24-7, serving up lightning-fast info, transparent pricing, and seamless appointment booking around the clock. It's like having an automated hostess ensuring your doors are always open. Stop starving your growth and elevate your notary brand with AIBot. Visit our website at thenotarycommission.com and use the discount code PODCAST for 10% off your digital Mater D today. Now, back to the podcast. So, where were we? Ah, yes, making sure you're up to snuff with your notary stamp and seal. This isn't just about following the rules. It's about branding, too. Your seal is like your handshake in the notary world. It's how you say, I'm a professional and I mean business. Customizing your seal with your unique style, that's how you stand out in a sea of signatures. Now you're probably thinking, great, but what about when things go digital? Fear not, my tech-savvy notaries. The notary realm has room for personalized seals too, and using them correctly is as satisfying as hearing the cha-ching on payday. Whichever path you choose, remember to always keep it legal, keep it smart, and keep it uniquely you. Before we wrap up, let's touch on the importance of keeping your notary tools secure. Your stamp and seal are like the keys to the kingdom, or at least the keys to the document vault, so safeguarding them is critical. Treat them like the crown jewels, and you'll avoid a ton of headaches down the road. All right, my amazing army of notaries, we're about to put a pin in this episode like a well-stamped document. Remember, Being a notary isn't just about witnessing signatures. It's about providing a trusted service and leaving your professional mark, literally and figuratively. So keep your stamps inked, your seals polished, and your knowledge sharp. That's all for today's episode of the Notary Nuggets podcast. Keep those seals high and keep making your mark. Until next time, keep it notarized, keep it legit, and as always, keep it fun. Catch you on the flip side.